Hello and welcome back to the Rag Yaman Sitar Lesson Series. I'm Will Marsh, and here on Lesson 22, we're going to work on Jala. And so what is Jala? Jala is a fast section of the Raga development, characterized by the rhythmic use of the Chikari strings, which are these ones here. And in a performance, the Jala, it can come after the Jor, which is in the earlier part of the performance, or it can also come at the very end with the tabla in a, in a very fast tintal tempo. And if you have not yet worked on jala, I strongly recommend that you check out my lesson 17 in the foundation series. That's just gonna get you started with the patterns of jala, um, because today we're going to work on a jala in rag yaman. And like many of the parts of Hindustani music, the jala is improvise when you perform it, perform it, but as students will learn a composed one in the beginning so that we start to understand the form and structure. So today I'm going to teach you a jala that I've composed in Rag Yaman based on my studies. And first, why don't you let me just play a little bit of it so you can hear how this jala sounds. that's a little taste of what we'll be learning. And now let's start off with the most basic pattern that we use in the jala. This is like our foundation, foundational pattern. And that is the da, chick, chick, chick. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, da, chick, 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 da, chick, chick, chick. This is our main pattern that we'll start with. We'll establish the jala with this pattern of Da chick 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 da chick chick chick. Now, after this, we'll we'll break it down into other um, divisions. But the first part of the jala uses this da chick 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 da chick chick chick. And we start this pattern with knee to sa. We have knee four times. Knee chick 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 knee chick 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 knee chick 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 knee chick 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 sa. With me. Here we go. Me, 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 sa, sa. Again. Sa, sa. Me, 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 sa, 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 sa. The next line, we're playing dha, ni, re, sa with this uh, four pattern. So what that sounds like is da, chi, 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 ni, chi, chi, re, sa, da, ni, re, sa. All right, so now we have the first line, ni, sa, ni, sa, and then da, ni, re, sa. All of these happening with the da chick 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 pattern. So go ahead and try this with me. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Nee, 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 sa, sa, sa. Again, this repeats. Nee, 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 Next line. Da, mi, mi, sa, da, mi, mi, sa. Great, we've got that first pattern. Now next we're playing on ni, and here's where we change it up a little bit. Instead of doing da chick chick chick, we do da chick chick, da chick chick, da chick chick, da chick chick. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
And what we have is me chick chick me chick chick me chick chick me sa me sa pa After that part, we have ma, da, ni, de, sa. So you can hear now we're starting to break it down into different subdivisions. And what that next line is, is ma, da, ni, de, sa. From Ma, here we have Ma, Sa, Ni, Re, Sa, Ma, Sa, Ni, Re, Sa, Ni, Re, Sa. Again, that line. Great, we've gotten a good bit down here. I want to go ahead and play it all together so that we retain it as we move on. Now remember, we're starting on ni to sa, and then we have da ni re sa, and then ni ni chik chik ni chik chik ni chik chik ni sa ni da pa. After that, ma da ni re sa, ma da ni re sa ni re sa. All right, let's do it in time here. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, ni, 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 sa, 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 again, sa, ni, 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 sa, 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 ni, ni, sa, sa, ni, 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 Awesome. So this finishes kind of our chapter covering these notes, sa and below. Now, next we'll go up and start uh, centering around ga here. Let's move on to our next phrase, which is ni re ga re ga ga. So that's ni chik re chik ga chik re chik ga chik ga. With me, one, two, three, four. Ni re ga re ga ga. Next line, re ga ma ga. Repeat, ni re ga re ga ga. Ni re ga ma ga. Again. God line again and then we'll move on to the next one. So we have <laughs> So 
So this is our phrase around ga. Let's do this together again. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Ni, ni, ga, ni, ga, ga. Last phrase is where we move up to the next pattern centering around pa. So I think let's learn uh, one more passage and then I want to play it all together for you and leave you with this much to work on. So after the last phrase that we did, which was we have Let's finish here today. We did sa, we did ga, and now we've done pa. Let's go over this new phrase that we've just done. And it, it comes off of the, the ga leads into it. So what that means is we have ga ma pa 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 Great, so let's go together from the ga and you'll see how it connects to the next pattern around pa. So remember, ni re ga re ga, ni re ga ma ga, ni re ga re ga, pa ma re ma ga. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Ni re ga re ga ga, ni re ga ma ga. Awesome. So before we close, I'll go ahead and play everything we've done today so that you have it all in order and you can uh, play with it and, and have it clearly, clearly on the video for you as you're practicing. So here we go. Uh, try and join with me if you can. I'll keep it nice and slow from the beginning. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, nine, nine, nine. Finish that chapter. Sa. Next to Ga. Ni, ni, ga, ni, ga.
Awesome, so this is our work for today. Practice this as slowly as you need to to keep it clear and then speed it up as you can. The jala is really as, as fast as you can go. So gradually you work your way up to this tempo and I want to say thanks again for joining me here on this lesson series. I would love to have your support. You can do that by subscribing, liking, you'll be notified when the next video is released. And something cool I'm offering is a chance for you to have a short in-person lesson with me because this music really was has always been taught from teacher to student in this close way. And that's how all of my learning has been done. And I want to give you a chance to play for me so that I can help you work on um, where you're at, what you need to, to listen for to improve. So you'll see a link in the description to schedule a free 20 minute lesson. And uh, it's been a pleasure teaching you today. I'll see you on the next class.